Hey everyone, so today we're going to be creating a basic Pong game using Turtle. So the first thing we want to do is import the Turtle module, because that's what we're going to be creating this Pong game with. And then we want to set up a window, so that, you know, it's going to show what's going to happen. So WN window is equal to turtle.screen, uh, window.bg, so background color, in this case I'll set it to light green. Uh, window dot set up. We want to set up the window with the width as let's say 600 pixels, and the height height is 500 pixels. And then let's set the title of the window to Pong, since this is going to be just a Pong. And actually, let me save it. You guys don't know pong game is just two paddles and then there's a ball in the middle where you have to hit it against each other so sn no wn actually let me save and run and we have our pop-up window which is 600 500 pixels uh top left the title is named pong and the background color is light green you can change that to you know whatever you like but for this case, we'll be using those dimensions and uh, values. So now we want to draw the center line. So this is just help helping to um, visualize where the center is. So T is equal to turtle, a new turtle. A turtle. Uh, we can set the speed of the turtle to zero when we want to draw it, and we want to move it from one position to another. We want to, to get it there instantly. Raise the turtle and then set the position to. Uh, 0, 0, negative 250, set the pen down so we can actually draw something, and set the color of the pen to white. Yeah, white. And then, let's set the pen size, so like the thickness of the pen, to 3 pixels, turn it left 90 degrees, and forward um, 600 pixels. So, if we run this... At the beginning, their pen was down here, but it was facing right, so you turned it left 90 degrees, and then it went up 600 uh, pixels. If I maximize this, there's an arrow at the top, which, you know, you don't want, so what I could just do is hide the turtle at the end, and then there won't be an arrow. Now, we want to draw the first paddle, so draw a paddle, let's call this A, yeah, just paddle A. Paddle A is equal to curl dot turtle. Uh, paddle A dot speed set the speed of the paddle to zero. Paddle A dot shape. You could change the shape to a square. So if I run this in the middle, there should be a square, and there is, but. We don't want it to just be a square. If it's going to be a paddle, we want it to be sort of rectangular shape. So we could change that. So paddle A dot shape size is we could stretch the width to five, and then stretch the let's make stretch right. Yeah, stretch the length to one. So if I, if we see this again, now you see it has become wider or taller. So let's raise the paddle, so paddle A dot up, and then we want to set the position of paddle A to, or go to, um, negative 280, 0, and then paddle A dot color, and it was already black, but, you know, just keep it as black. And now it should be on the left side of the screen, which it is. Now, we want to just do paddle B. So, just copy and paste this for paddle A. But, now we can have it for paddle B. Let's just change some of the variable names. Paddle B. Um, 
um, instead of negative 280, we want to make it 280 so it's on the right side of the screen. And as for now, this should be two paddles. One on the left, one on the right. And then now we want to create our ball. So the ball that's just going to get hit by each paddle and move across the screen. So uh, create ball. Ball pen is you go to turtle dot turtle. Uh, ball dot speed is zero. And then ball dot shape. If it's a ball, we want the shape to be a circle. Because the default is just going to be an arrow. Ball dot color is. Well, let's just set it to red for now. And then ball dot up. So now you have. The center line, which just helps visualize the center. Uh, the left paddle, the right paddle, and then you have a middle ball. And then these two paddles are just going to be controlled later by arrow keys and also Q and A on your keyboard. So that's it for this part. In the next part, we will be setting up keyboard bindings, moving the ball, and checking for you know, borders or boundaries.